I just use the sander here to feather in the paint to the rest of the body so that you don't see any ridges there when I put the new paint on. Then after that I sand it down with a 400 to take off any little lines that the sander may have left. So now what I'm going to do is prime all the bare metal here before I put the coat of black paint on. So now I'm going to let that dry a good 12 hours or more. Then I'm going to come with my black spray paint, spray that all the way around all these parts here and frame all the way to the back. So I got my primer dry ready for the black coat. I've already put a bit of black paint on the side here. I'm gonna put a thin coat, let it dry, then recoat it in 12 hours. So I've coated some black paint all on the frame of the tractor here, all around, even in the back here, everything I could. So there's one good coat on all that. I'm probably gonna put another coat or two. But that's gonna have to wait another 12 to 24 hours before I can respray that. So here's the fenders. They're pretty bad. So I'll be grinding all the rust spots with my wire brush on my grinder. So here I've got the fender there all cleaned up, ground down with the wire brush and I rubbed some muriatic acid on the rust spots and it cleared off a lot more rust than just grinding it with the wire brush. So I'll wait till tomorrow and I'm going to prime the whole thing. Then I'm going to sand the paint spots and feather them in to the rest of the unit and then it's going to be ready for painting. I've decided to paint the side panel right on the tractor. This will be the first coat. So I'm going to let this first coat dry. I don't want to put it on too thick because I don't want to get runs. So far I've got no runs. So I'm going to let it dry till tomorrow. And I still have the other side panel and the back panel where the key is. Now here are the fenders for the tractor. They're all grounded down and primed. But I'm gonna start giving it a shot of paint right now. Sometimes what I do too is I let the paint dry like a minute or two and then I just recoat it quickly 
before the second coat the next day just so that it goes on thicker but don't put too much paint if you do that because it can easily start to drip and you don't want that here I'm going to do a quick recoat. I started painting at this side of the fender. Now I'm going to come back here. Just give it a light coating. Then that paint's going to dry with the very first layer of paint that I put there. And after that I leave it. Then I come back the next day and put a full second coat again. Then the first coat on the fenders. Uh, this took a whole can of John Deere green paint to do this. Again, be careful not to go too heavy because you don't want drips. So this morning I've started painting the underside of the whole fender assembly. I prefer painting it in the shade so that the paint doesn't dry too fast. can't be in a hurry doing this. You'll notice when the cans start to get empty they don't spray as good. So I'm done the first coat on the underside of the fenders now. I'm just going to let it dry a good 24 hours and then recoat it. Two coats should do the underside. I'm not going to go with three coats but on the other side I'm going to go with three coats.